Trouties. It's Sierra here with the Manic Trout Facebook Live Friday. Back to our regularly scheduled time, finally. So I'm here this week to talk about something kind of fun. I'm also noticing, fun side fact here, it's freezing in my house in, <laughs> in Austin when it gets chilly. Our houses are so designed to be cool that it's freezing in here. I refuse to turn the heat on. My nose is actually like pink right now, but yeah, totally random side note, beauty of live. Uh, so here at Manic Trout, which for those of you that are not familiar, I'm Sierra Bailey. My jewelry line is Manic Trout. I'm the maker, designer, and everythinger here at Manic Trout. And on Fridays, I'm live on Facebook. So here I am, and I'm talking today about the M Collection. So the M Collection is one of my kind of favorite parts as a designer of Manic Trout. If you are familiar with shopping with Manic Trout, you may have missed it completely. In the like menu bar, it says like shop, and then it says, and then I think it says the, uh, I don't know what's next. M Collection, I should have looked at the website beforehand. Uh, and then like, you know, all the other things. But the M Collection is kind of the place where, not kind of, it is the place where I let myself go crazy with materials, scale. It's it's the, the one of a kind magnificent jewelry kind of, I mean, it's all magnificent, but you know what I mean. I, I go crazy. So when I first started designing for Manic Trout, way back in the day, back in 2003, when I started Manic Trout, I had a lot of very large statement jewelry. And uh, the, high, the price point was kind of high and I quickly realized that to be a jewelry designer that actually made a living without having a store, I needed to be able to sell more than one of each piece of jewelry for how much time it takes to take pictures and put online and do descriptions. So I, I you know, over the years, if those of you who have followed along, you know, you've, you've seen kind of the many brandings of Manic Trout to get to where we are today, especially as I grew as a designer and came into my own. So... Part of the M collection is returning to what originally I loved about designing jewelry, these big, magnificent, one-of-a-kind and higher price point designs. So I, a few years ago, actually separated it out of the collection and made the M collection. M, you know, for M by Manic Trout. And I keep that a little bit separate. And I add to this collection now once a year, um, the weekend usually of um, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And I release a very small, like 12 to 16 piece collection um, of all one of a kind pieces. And they are also because many of you Trouties are ladies and uh, you know, most for the most part, ladies are wearing the jewelry here. And I was approached by more than one significant other saying, hey, my uh, lady friend or my wife or whatever wears your jewelry and loves it and I really want to like buy her like a splurge item that she wouldn't normally buy for herself. So I keep designs of kind of the like the dream, the the big gift, the like awesomeness that I now call M Collection. Um, I did, I just started calling it that a couple of years ago before it was just kind of like the higher end pieces, but many of you came to find Manic Trout. I think there was something in like Marie Claire many years ago that had the scarf necklaces. So like for those of you that came in that kind of like a uh, chunk of Manic Trout fans, that's kind of all in the M collection now. Uh, goodness, I'm not on my A game of speaking today. I'm all over the place. So I wanted to show you some examples of what is in the M collection so you know what I'm talking about and why I separate these. Then I'm going to give you a peek at what I'm working on for the new pieces because they come out and I mean, we don't really want to talk about it, but like for real, like Thanksgiving is in a month. So I am going to start. I am wearing one of the pieces from the collection. Now, I also want to make a note that I, for some, because of the scale of the jewelry, I tend to make the M collection larger. It's longer. They're naturally, I actually didn't think to print out. I don't have any of the names on me and because I don't talk about them that often, I have no idea what they are. So if you go to the M collection on manicchart.com, you can see the names and all of that. Um, but the lengths are just naturally a little bit longer. They're more generous. Like this bracelet that I'm wearing, it, it's big on me. Um, mainly because I use 
usually bigger stones, more stones. So when you start to get bigger and heavier, which PS, most of the stuff in the M collection is pretty heavy. But when you start to get bigger, you need a little, like the scale kind of goes with it. So for those of you that like a more generous size, these are great for you as well. So I am wearing one that has Amazonite, here I'll come closer, and tourmaline up here and then blue lapis below. Isn't that just lovely? This is, this is actually my favorite piece. Let me tell you, if this one doesn't sell soon, it may never appear in the M collection again because I may take that one for myself. I am usually very well behaved and do not take things from the M collection. There was, I did wear a necklace this past year from the M collection. I couldn't help myself. Um, I wore it to an event and then it sample sailed. Hmm, that can happen. Uh, another kind of cool thing about the M collection is that a lot of it's on sale right now because um, like when I release a collection, all 16 pieces don't always sell. So whatever is left from the year before kind of goes on sale. So that's kind of fun too. But let me show you some other things. This one, I also, these two, I'm very shocked that they're still here from last year. So this one, my favorite part about it are these right here are very large rough cut garnets. Isn't that so cool? Um, I have to hit a button, I apologize. So the garnets are, you know, you can see the dark red better in the light. It's kind of overcast here today, so it's cloudy. The light is not great in here. With carnelian on top and turquoise in between. My bracelet is also turquoise, which um, I believe there's kind of a turquoise shortage going on right now. So turquoise is uh, more precious than it ever has been. Um, and that is a nice long length. I love that necklace. And um, another one from the collection last year that is still here. The long ones. I have such a hard time photographing. I think those are why they say. But these are ceramic. Aren't those really cool? Um, and it's, you know, like I said, I don't hold back. I use like what I'm wearing right now. There are, it's pretty heavy. So a lot of these are heavy, which is a note. I know not all of you enjoy that. But I do not hold back on materials, on color. I kind of go crazy and let myself have tons of fun with the M collection. Now, because these necklaces can be big, this is one of the reasons why I started making the scarf necklaces years ago. And I have done many kind of varieties of them. The most recent ones, so these are the Mermaid Parade and there are eight strands and I cut apart vintage scarves and then I sewed them back together into like a tube and tie them on top. So you can adjust the length on top, but I do, there it, I'll stand back a little bit so you can see. I do have a clasp right in there. It's actually like a toggle clasp. Once upon a time, you actually had to like undo the knot and loosen it, but I had approved on that design. This was one of my favorite designs I've ever done. Um, I really, I went through a phase of where I was incorporating a lot of fabric in, but the beauty of these are that, this is the Mermaid Parade one, and then the even bigger, I can't remember. I think there are like 12 or 16 strands. No, there's so many. There's like 12 or 16 strands and these are the uh, insects are all around us necklaces. So the beauty of this is that you get the, the big burst of the glass, but because of the silk scarf on top, it takes the weight off and they're so comfortable. I also cannot tie scarves to save my life. So this was a wonderful way to be able to incorporate scarves into the jewelry without having to worry about tying them. So it's kind of like a, a, a best of both worlds of scarf world, necklace world. Um, um, so these are actually, I think all of the scarves are on sale in there right now. Um, uh, oh, another one from last year. Like I said, it was the long ones. I'm not very good at photographing long necklaces. I need to work on that. Uh, look at how long this is. So this is another ceramic one. So, th I mean, this is a great, there are, I think of a lot of you trouties with this necklace. There are a lot of you that would rock this necklace really well. Oh, also, random, I was looking at some editorials earlier and there was a spread in like Italian Vogue or something where there was a woman, yeah, model, wearing sunglasses with like the, you know, the, do people wear those anymore? Like the things that hold the glasses with the little rubber, but they were beaded like this. And I was like, oh. I almost could see the Trouties being into some awesome lane. Like, can you imagine like, you know, fluorite to hold your your sunglasses or your, your reading glasses perhaps? I think you guys that I'm about to get the reading glass mode, especially for making jewelry. And I'm like, that would be awesome because I would be going a lot from this to this. And that's so if I had like an awesome fluorite, you know, let me know in the comments, would you rock something like this on your glasses? I don't wear glasses normally. So I don't know if that would just be in the way. 
But then I could think of so many of you, like I know a lot of you are uh, librarians and uh, in the medical, like doctors, uh, lawyers, so that you are like wearing your reading glasses, but then looking up and down. So you probably take off your reading glasses a lot. So that would be kind of fun to turn your reading glasses into a nice like necklace accessory. I don't know. I'm going to ask that question when we're not in the middle of a video, but I just saw it about half an hour ago and I wanted to bring that up. Um, and I think there are, so back to the M collection, I think there are two of the Happy Pills necklaces, which I love so much. And these are all vintage beads and buttons. A lot of the ones that have the holes like on the side are ball buttons and I love them. Um, there are, I, I had done maybe like 12 different colors of these originally. There are two left. There's a red. I had done a bunch of reds and pinks. There's a red and I think the yellow is left. And, um... I also, these are also, I think, only two left, and they are multi-strands, and I like them, like, twisted and stuff like that. They have a nice extender on them. So, the, like I said, the M collection is where I get to have fun, and where I get to use gemstones that are really just too expensive to have in the normal collection because of, you know, price points. I'm a contemporary brand. There's a range that I'm in. So let me show you now some of the things that I am thinking of for the next collection of the M jewelry that's coming out. I don't know. I showed a picture of it when I first bought it this, um, like early this summer. I don't know if you saw it on Facebook. I actually have to look to make sure I get the names right. So this is Ruby Fuchsite. So I showed the photo it is, they are probably smaller than they looked in the photo. I'm going to bring this right up close. Do you see the fuchsia that is in there? I wanted to focus on the bee, not on my face. That fuchsia are actually, or the fuchsia are actually rubies. Isn't that gorgeous? These are very beautiful. I'm having kind of an issue because they're not that big. I don't know, something fabulous is going to happen with these. I don't know what to do. At first, I thought of maybe breaking it up and only doing like one off-center and a regular manic trout necklace, but I feel like it's so fabulous that this is this is just M Collection written all over it. I feel like that's just where it's going to go. All right, the next one is a rhyolite, which the cut of these are just done so well. I love the colors. Still considering that one. I, I am a little behind. I have not designed the collection yet, so we're gonna see how these goes. How these go. This is something I have been wanting to use this for a while. This is, and I think I know how I'm gonna do this one. This is um, tourmaline and quartz, which I love. If you've been a Tridy for a while, you know I just so love it when two gemstones get together and have a party in one. And, and the, these are tourmaline and amazonite. I love because tourmaline is that black. So I really enjoy, I love when it's mixed in with other stones and I think it is so pretty, but how magnificent are these? Love the black and white, love the graphicness. There's actually an Austin artist whose work I covet and his paintings, this, these stones are basically, they just remind me so much of his paintings. I just love them. Every time I see them, I think about his art. All right, and then the next ones are Mookite, M-O-U-K-A-I-T-E, Mookite. All right, so forget the name. It looks like it's various shades of like dessert. It's like a berry cobbler with ice cream. I know everything, I relate it all back to food. It's kind of sad. So these are just magnificent. So these, these will definitely be showing up in the M collection coming out. I'm so excited about them. The other thing that I have recently been uh, getting and thinking about, and I'm unsure of this because it's not really what you think of with my style, but kind of is that, what do we think about that? Those are some beautiful like gemstone geodes. They are finished, I think with like 14 karat gold. They're very fabulous. So I also want to share, um, a few years ago, I did like a surplus show and I s kind of priced all of the beads and things that I had in the studio, all the gemstones, you know, all the findings that I was not using. And after the show happened, we did it here in Austin at the Tom's store, at uh, the coffee shop. After the show, I had it all priced and I was like, well, everything's ready. So I photoed it and I created an Etsy surplus shop. And that was probably the best thing I've ever done because it makes it so I can 
buy things way ahead of the time of a collection. Because, you know, like with anything, there's a certain amount of return time, although Manic Dress is very generous of 90 days. Remember that. But you usually have about a month. So sometimes when you're buying materials just to try, like I said, I ordered a lot of these, like in the spring, in the summer, I collect very far ahead of time because I'm usually designing collections far ahead of time. So I in the past would kind of be like, well, I don't want to, especially when they get on the pricier side, I don't want to purchase that because if I don't use it, then what do I do with it? And then that's just, you know, bad business. But I will say that once I started having a surplus shop, it makes it now that if I don't use any material that I source and try, because I usually will buy like one strand to try, I now have a place that I can sell them. So it kind of is awesome because I have the freedom to try more materials and these I still don't know <laughs> if they're gonna go in the M collection <sighs> I don't know or end up I actually there are a few things that I could see with this I just they just look a little different than what I usually do but you know that's good different is good so I don't know if they'll end up in the surplus shop or if they will be in the M collection but they are definitely on the table. If you liked those little pendants, let me know, because that's good to know. Oh, I also want to note, a few weeks ago, I asked about the puzzle pieces for the charms, and if you like them. Um, as it turned out, I had sourced those last early spring, I believe, and I can no longer get them. There are other puzzle pieces out, but the ones that I really liked are no longer available. So, the, yeah, there are two that I know a couple of you said that you like them. I can do something with those, but I will not be able to make lots of necklaces. That was just a follow-up on a previous video. But yeah, so this has been kind of a glimpse of what's coming in the M collection. Like I said, that will come out um, about the last weekend of November. And it's a wonderful, like if you trouties know that there are people in your life that like to uh, splurge on you around the holidays and buy you lavish gifts from your favorite jewelry designer, let them know the M collection is coming and to watch for it. I, you know, they'll be done and I ship quickly. So there will be plenty of time to order for that. But um, I kind of like that because it's like my chance it's kind of like having like an art show like that's when I, I feel like they're my my real art pieces that come out because uh there's something different when you're designing like a one-of-a-kind necklace as opposed to something you know you have to make and make and make and make and sometimes around the holidays when I have people come in and help me make jewelry I have to make sure they can make it so the M collection is is really when I make these it is you know, it's my it's my place to make art out of jewelry. So thank you for tuning in today, Trouties. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the M collection um, close up and on me a little bit. And I hope you liked the peek at the materials of the new pieces coming. I will, of course, be back here next Friday on Facebook at 1 p.m. Central. In the meantime, make sure you're following along on the Facebook page. If you're watching this kind of in the, you know, your feed and not on the page, just click on the picture of me and the necklace and you can follow right along on Facebook and of course these videos stay up and I reply to comments so if you're watching this not live say hi ask questions I love to answer them give me a email or send a message if you want it to not be in front of everybody also of course on Instagram Pinterest Twitter at Manic Trout and all of the jewelry is available at ManicTrout.com today in specifics um, specifically the M collection is right up in the menu bar but I just like to do these videos so I get a chance to say hi and you get a chance to see who the person is behind Manic Trap. So I will see you next Friday at 1 p.m. Central on the Manic Trap Facebook page. Have a great week, Trouties.